fly out of the chest. She's trying to get an eland. They're about 300 meters that way. <laughs> but uh, in this episode, you'll be watching Jess and Dad hunting some water buffalo in the Northern Territory. Yeah, I couldn't tell it's something. Tell it what? Running away to down. It's a big shit. Look at that. looking. I wasn't looking at that. Here he comes, Dad. Absolutely smack it. <laughs> we just got within about thirty yards of the world of beast then. Dad and I are heading after water buffalo in this episode. We are going up to the Northern Territory to go and hunt some water buff. They are Australia's biggest game animals. They were introduced to Australia back in the early 1800s, I think, or mid 1800s. Um, and their population kind of got a little bit out of control after some settlements were abandoned and the buffalo were released. So in the late 1900s, trying to get my facts right, in the late 1900s, the government did a huge big culling program and got rid of a load of buffalo. And I think that the last count put it at about 150,000 in 2008. So they still have a bit of a problem with them. They are massive animals. They grow up to 1.2 tons. So they eat a lot and they do a lot of damage to the native flora and fauna, especially around swamp areas and billabongs and things like that where they like to dig it all up with their horns and play in the mud. So Dad and I are gonna head up there, try and do our bit to take a few buffalo down um, and have a bit of fun while we do it. And we're also gonna try and get some of the donkeys up there. There are millions and millions of donkeys in the Northern Territory. So we're gonna try and head out after some of those and see what that's like. I hope that you guys enjoy the episode. Let us know in the comments what you thought. It's not focusing. Here we go. Heading off to Darwin to hunt buffalo. Look at the camera. There it is. <laughs> Here's the camera. <laughs> Just landed in Crown, Please follow the white markings on the tarmac and follow any instructions given to you by the ground crew. We made it to Darwin. <laughs> Midnight. A beauty that goes deeper than the surface. So we're out here hunting today, we're actually hunting on Aboriginal lands. We've got um, permission and permits to hunt on Aboriginal lands out here. Nondash, do you want to give us an idea of how big this place is? 2,220 square kilometres. 2,000, over 2,000 square kilometres anyway, of, um, of buffalo and pig hunting and um, scrub bull, feral donkeys, all sorts of stuff. So. Um, we're going to try and get ourselves a decent buffalo today and put him on the floor.
got his head down and he's out. Damn good buffalo. Well, we reckon we just seen a big mob. Well, we know we just seen a big mob of um, bulls. And uh, I reckon probably 12, 14 bulls all in one, one mob. And uh, there was at least four shooters in there, over 100. Definitely four. One of them looked like a freaking giant. But um, he had his peg from the get-go, so even when we started the walk, he was looking straight at us, trying to keep behind trees and whatever else. There was just no chance he, um, some other, some other bulls pegged us from the side as well, and they started running, that was the end of that. So we'll have to try and see if we can find them up over the ridge here somewhere. They've probably run off about an over a K. Next time. Stop to help some guys that have come out fishing in the riverbank here um, and got got a bit bogged. They didn't have lock on their four wheel drive, so we're going to give them a quick winch um, and see if they can get back to fishing. That one there broke it, eh? Yeah, that's it. Wrap it around. Little tighter? Wrap it around and hook him up. Wrap around that old bar. Well, we're in the middle of Buffalo country. Two of the local fellas stuck in the sand for God knows how long. They flagged us down the middle of the bush and we've just pulled them back out. Who knows how long they would have been stuck here. We only just chose to come this way. We had like seven or eight different options. So there's a lot of, lot of driving involved. You've got to get in the car and actually go and find these things because the area is just so big. It's, um, you know, if, you, if you'd done it all by foot, you'd be bugging. In fact, you probably wouldn't shoot anything but a, but a, um, a stump. Um, anyway, we'll go and see what we can do and see what we can get. Nice. I just lost the other one though. Yellow, yeah. No, it ran. Try some feral donkey for dinner. Nice, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, tell people what it is. They'll eat it, not a lot. <laughs> so you tell them what it is. Ah, right. Yeah. They look like buffalo meat. Yeah. Right. Same shit, just... but it's uh, more softer. 
Yeah. Yeah. Buffalo. You know, we're like zebra, which is just the same animal. Yeah. You know, just different skin. Tastes beautiful. Yeah, we got a bag. Well, they used to, they use that for, they use donkey. They used to use it um, to make um, salamis. Yeah, yeah. In Italy, years yeah. ago. Yeah. You know? Not that I'm Italian, but. Yeah. yeah. Like, Me either. Not me either. <laughs> but that's the thing. You gonna eat some, Jonathan? Nah. Yeah, no? he will, but he won't know about it. <laughs> I'll just stay away from the caravan. <laughs> I'll say, yeah, I've got euros. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll wait till you come back. I only chicken, I'll say. I only like chicken. Yeah. <laughs> You're not keen, mate? No. Nah. No? You don't like flipping, eating Jesus taxi? <laughs> 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 Day one is just about over. Um, Dad and I have been up now for just about 36 hours. Um, we're very tired. We saw a lot of really good buffalo today, um, some really nice bulls, uh, and just a lot of cows and cars and things. So we'll head back out tomorrow and hopefully bag one for ourselves. But right now I think we're going to head back to camp and go to sleep. Furthest to the left? He's walking up the back. Furthest to the left? Can you see him right over? Yeah, he's far, He's the furthest one away, right? And he's furthest to the left. Did you see him up the back? Yep. Here he comes, Dad. Oh no, Dad, he's just gone behind the tree for me. Give me two seconds. Okay, I've got the back off. Yep. Hold on. Yep. He's down. Yep, he's down. What a buff down, Dad. <laughs> nice work. Let's see, let's see. I'm excited, I just. Preliminary <laughs> <laughs> After three, after three shots, you had a 300 win. There's your one and there's that one just walked past him. Yeah, there's your yeah. One right there. Oh my God. Water buffalo, <laughs> yes. Surely. He's gone. 
So water buffalo are Australia's biggest game species and by far one of the most exciting to hunt. They grow in size up to about 1,200 kilos, which is enormous. Uh, their horn span is up to three meters. They're really cool to hunt. Uh, they're an amazing species uh, and they live in mud and water all day long. They just love that stuff. Backstrap. 10 kilo backstrap. We are loosed. Waterhouse. We know where we are, but we don't know where we're going. <laughs> we are somewhere in the territory. <laughs> <laughs> We've decided to use some um, star gazing, creek following navigation techniques to find out where we are and where to go. Hopefully we make it out of here and back to the caravan to get a good night's sleep. We're lost. <laughs> lost in... We're just about to head out for day two. Um, huge day yesterday. We had, we had 40 plus hours with no sleep, but we bowled over a buffalo in the afternoon, which was awesome, but that made for a real late night. So um, we had a bit of a sleep in, pretty slack, seven o'clock and we're still not out there. So. We need to get get rattling and get out there and um, see if Jesse can't put a um, a big buff on the ground. So here we go. Here's Nondes. He's just cooked oh. us a great breakfast. And <laughs> is washing up before we head out for the hunt. <laughs> We're heading out to see if I can find a find a water buffalo this morning because Dad got one yesterday on the ground. Um, so Jonathan's promised us a big one. Hey, Jonathan. <laughs> So we were here the other day and we'd shot some feral donkeys um, and then we realised that we had left the knife sharpening steel on the bull bar and it had gone missing. But our um, awesome tracker Jonathan <laughs> has just found us, found the steel, <laughs> gone for a bit of a walk and it was a couple hundred metres off that way. Good job Jonathan, you found it. Turkey feather. Turkey feather? Oh, I would have thought it was one of them hawks. Found a seal? Nice. Find us keepers on a weepers. <laughs> Cocky. Cocky. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Straight from the man. Pork feather. What'd you get? Turkey. Turkey. Haha. <laughs> Pork beast turkey. <laughs> Just one furthest to the left of the bull, but he's only thrown out. Yeah, I reckon that's the bull furthest to the left. Can I it? Yeah, you're right. Just a warm yeah, yeah, yeah. About the same as that last one we seen. The good one. He's the protector of them. Then I saw as we were walking, I saw, saw them running out. Yeah. And, you know, at the back there, that's why I come out to see them. Yeah. I couldn't see them until you told me. Big herd. Yeah. yeah. What do you reckon, nearly 30 of them? Yeah, easy. Because there's more for the back now. Yeah. Well, I counted it like flipping a quick head count of those over there was 17. So there was four here. That's that's 21. Yeah. Do you reckon there'll be any lone bulls in here? I'm not sure. Yeah. You're hoping. Might, might get a pig. Yeah. Is that a challenge though? No, not a challenge. Yeah. yeah. 
They're not happy that we're coming near the Well, he's in the water yeah. and he's sitting there thinking to himself, you know this what? My yeah, you guys are cramping my style. Huh. Three or four water buffalo balls sitting in a water hole right there. And staring us down. Yep. <laughs> They were not happy that we were moving them off this water hole in such a hot day. Right oh. That is disgusting. I would not swim in this if it was 50 degrees out. Maybe Listen, in places like New York, they would pay to get in a bath full of that stuff. <laughs> Weirdos. We've got to that'll, be very, that'll be very, very itchy, that shit. Weirdos. They I think itchy's itchy. like the new not itchy. True. <laughs> yeah. I think that would be like, <laughs> Good luck. you know, quarantine you for six months, wash you down with some dead oil. Listen, they bath in mud in places like that. They want to get back to the, you know, the, the, you know, tribal roots or something, yeah? yeah, let's show them a bit of this and see how much tribal roots they want. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> You'll be rooted when you get out of it, mate. You have all sorts of diseases. Exactly. You'll be tribal, all right? Yeah. There you go. Key information we just learnt. If you see a green pond in a river. Green pond in a river. Yeah, a green, green pondy river. area. Green like an area of green water in a river. You need to be careful because that's where the salties like to sit in Northern Territory. And I'm pretty much happy to keep all my arms and legs, so it's uh, probably best just stick away from those areas. Is that their ball? The back here? I don't know, it's not looking straight. Yeah. But our buffalo, the only, only time he gets aggressive is when he's got, when he's in the herd with young. Yeah. Right? And he'll, he'll go you. Yeah. Or if you spook up on him, he'll go you. Or yeah. if he's injured. Yeah. Or you corner yeah. him or something, yeah. he'll go you. Yeah. Other than that, you're pretty much pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, mind you saying that, I had two young bulls when I was driving my car in between two trees. Yeah. And they, they they stood their ground and they tried to come from the side. Yeah. I ended up going through, chucking you in, then chasing with the bull bar. Yeah. yeah. Went, but they didn't head on. They like bumped them, bumped the ass into yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Whereas the big aggressive bulls, if they want to stay on their ground, they they'll just go. Yeah. 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 Walk inside. He's looking. He's looking. Oh, you just chase that one. Yeah. Just wait, just wait. I've got him, I've got him. You want to go over my shoulder or not? Yep. You want to go through him. the front, okay? Yep. Oh, that's a good shoulder shot. Need to get up. He's running. He's in the sand. He's down. Nice work, Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> That was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like, there's one, there's one. Oh, there's another one. That, that's, that's a bachelor hurt. <laughs> oh, there's the one. There's no movement.
Yeah. Yeah, I think he's on his other horn. Look, look, Dad. Look. Yeah, I know. Nice nice ball. That's good. He's a good ball. Nice. He's a very good ball. Very symmetric. Nice one. Nice battered horns as well. Authentic stuff. Yeah. Not made up. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing made up, eh? <laughs> yeah. He's a ripper. Part one of our buffalo hunt done. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed doing the hunting. Um, I'm not sure that that's possible, but I do hope that you enjoyed the episode anyway. We do have part two coming and that includes some scrubbles, some pigs, a dog, I think, a wild dog, not just, you know, anyone's dog, poor old Cujo. Um, oh, Cujo was crazy. Anyway, I'm getting off track. Part two, there are things coming. We do hunt another couple of buffalo as well. We found a really sick buffalo cow um, and I think dad got another buffalo as well, a really big one. So keep an eye out for episode two, uh, part two of episode six. Um, like the video and let us know what you thought in the comments below.